this is going to be uh, the first time where you yourself get to learn about combat and combos in a big way and in a new way. Uh, for me personally, this was where the game like really starts to open up to the possibilities. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we've set, up a, we've set up a training dummy, and this is kind of an activity where you're supposed to execute according to kind of the iconography on the top. Now, uh, what we see on the top is the Accio spell, followed by four what we just kind of lovingly refer to as basic shots. Um, <laughs> uh, there are certain spells that the wizards kind of like use, just kind of fling. Andrew's using one now. And you trigger that by tapping R2 on your controller. So you mm -hmm. can see in the corner R2. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might slot. So if you okay. hold R2 instead, you can see how the diamond expands. And if we let go, you see how it contracts. Yeah. And so if you hold it again, it expands. And so when it expands, then all the spells that you slotted while you're holding that button can now be tapped with your face buttons. Awesome. And not only that, but over the course of the game, you can gain um, additional spell diamonds. Yeah, yo, I just can't with this with the with the black dude sometimes, man. Like he be hyping up basic stuff. Like yes, the diamond well is cool, but I've seen that in like four other games. This dude's acting like it's like like, bro. He, he's just honestly gonna piss me off, man. Cause he's just he's just hyping up random stuff, man. Like, bro, the game's cool. I don't need your whoa, awesome. Wow, I don't need all I don't need all that uh what is it ad lib man? Up to four additional ones so that you can slot up to sixteen spells, you what? know, pretty much instantly. And then that helped us um fulfill the fantasy of in combat I need to be able to access things very rapidly. Yeah. And and so you learn over the course of these events, you know, how to juggle not just the spell casting, but also it reinforces um, an understanding of another feature of the wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So as you're casting spells, just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again, right. you can see cooldowns on the spells that he's using uh, on the wheel. And then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect things like cooldowns through your talents, uh, different things that okay. allow you to kind of like okay. juggle and adjust and, and update wow. those things. And so if you hold down our R2 and you tap the D-pad, it will switch between your other diamonds if you've unlocked them. And and that's how you access all those. Oh, man. Hey, we're going to act like you didn't we'll fail that. Leave some action over here. Yeah. So this is, this is a great way to kind of learn how to pull things together, <laughs> um, so you pull those combos right together. Yeah. Tap, Accio, tap, tap, tap. Awesome. Well <laughs> Good done, job, Andrew. Andrew. He's eating the fuck the out dummy, of that dummy right I mean, now. Uh... I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I think now we can uh, we can take on something a little more challenging. It's going to shoot back. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about uh, some more features of the combat system. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross Wands all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? We're on a PS5 dev kit here, so we're going to be able to kind of pause I'm the ready. pause <laughs> the action yeah, yeah. and talk about what you're seeing on the screen because uh, there is about to be a lot going on. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Here you can select uh, if you want to fight with somebody else, some of your classmates. Yeah, yeah. But in this case, we're not. We want we want that action to feel a little more frantic <laughs> towards you to really get you that sense of of uh, of combat. So apparently you've uh, got quite the reputation because they've got you up against yeah, three people. Three, yeah. Hey Off yo. <laughs> um, so I can I can explain this. Uh, just because I know people are going to go into it, but we can probably just kind of jump in. Um, so uh, you're not the only one that has Protego and the ability to deflect. The enemies do too. And we actually play with that when it comes to the spell casting. So you notice that there are different colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters. And you also notice that your spells have different colors on them. So to help players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we're yeah. trying to put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are, um, I'm forgetting the other one, all of a sudden, control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, uh -huh. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards kind of like that close right. attention that right. you're paying 
ping we've, on things. We've got this paused here now, and you can kind of see all the elements on the screen, the, the halo around the avatar's head, yeah. each of the different shields, uh, to kind of give us a, give us a breakdown yeah, of what's going on. Give us a breakdown on. of different things that you're saying. <laughs> um, so you notice at the top uh, that we're, we're kind of like calling out which enemy you currently have targeted and yeah. their level and health. And so, you know, as you target different characters, you'll be able to get that breakdown. Yeah. The, uh, the halo over your head, whenever an enemy is about to an, an attack, it's it's almost like you have a little bit of a sixth sense for those things that are coming. Um, <laughs> if you sense? see the halo, it means there's an incoming attack. And if you tap the triangle button by default, mm -hmm. then that you will be able to deflect that attack that comes in oh. and off with yeah. the protector. And okay. I love that yeah. deflect where it goes off and, and like hits things yeah. up yeah. and kind of breaks things off walls too. <laughs> but also uh, if you hold the button, then it doesn't just it doesn't just deflect, it also deflects and turns around with a counter attack stupefy that actually stuns the enemy. And you can use that even in your combos and stuff. So yeah. if you're focused on a character, you know, and you're you're doing your thing, mm -hmm. and if someone else attacks you, you can actually turn that attack into a direct attack on the person that you're comboing. Back into into gameplay here. Andrew's gonna pretty pretty handily finish these these other students off here. Win this duel uh, off path, dude. It's like a dance. <laughs> yeah, we really felt like the um, we really felt like in the movies. There's almost like a. Uh, Okay. Okay. It's kind of like a. That's not there, bad. There's this bro. element of kind of like fencing from a very. That's good... really not. That's really not bad at all. It's pretty good combat, especially with the wand, bro. I mean, you're really not. I mean, you, you, we've all seen Harry Potter. They really ain't doing nothing with the wand. They just kind of swinging that shit around. But this is nice. This is nice. Yeah, that's that's and, a good call. And there are a lot of uh, easy. A lot of things easy. that we have to do with with our controls and combat system in order to kind of I capitalize on that idea. That's pretty unique always. to the Wizarding World. Yes. Well, perhaps you should try that next time. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance of winning, or at least surviving the next round. Uh, see, I'll let you know when we're ready. Downfall. Hope to see you then. Do brain on downfall, the next round bro. is for all the gobstones, so to speak. I think you that can upgrade your wand or less too, right? Wrap it up for us for now, for what we wanted to show you: no, character no. creator, <laughs> tour of Hogwarts, and uh, just that that little Wait, taste of combat. So that's it. Uh, but we we didn't want to leave you without well, maybe a little taste of something that that we're uh, we may show in the future, may show next time. Uh, you know, so leaving the castle, uh, going out here. Um... Wait, I know this place too. More, more owls uh, confirmed. <laughs> owl mail. Oh, th there's the owlry again. Yes, all of the owls. Um, but yeah, just heading out here again to show you like from Hogwarts to the world beyond Hogwarts. And oh, man. The, this is not somewhere where we're going today, but uh, we'll, we will definitely be taking Can you, you in the future. Can you explore all that? A little glimpse at the, the scale of the castle back there. All right, so we're gonna wrap things up here, but- uh, Hey, I, I don't wanna see your face, you bro. Is that it? Everything. That is it. Look, bro, the comp, like I was saying, the combat looks actually really good, man. I mean, you really don't have to do all this behind the back shit while you're sending the spells, but it's good that they added that to make it fresh, kind of exciting, to at least make it look like you're doing some cool shit. And bro, they really have the deflection and stuff on point. How you can lift people on the oven, grab a crate, just bink, bink their ass. What that was a 60 damage KO that he hit that boy with, man. Like, it, it's good, bro. It's for real, man. Like, when I saw the little bit of the trailers, the, the earlier trailers, when I saw the little bit of the combat that they had, I mean, bro, you can do some cool shit. And you would not think so because it's a Hogwarts game. And usually it's just like, spelling out, Mr. Ah, ah, ah. Like, that's it. But they got you doing behind the back, doing backflip, dink, dink, man. They putting you in the air. Get a, get a cool little purple bubble of deflection shield on you, man. It's some cool shit for real, dude. I mean, <laughs> when's this game coming in February, bro? I don't know if I can wait that long, man. Yeah, I won't start. I ain't tripping. I'm a stunt.